continues south to Whithorn. St Ninian, Scotland's first saint, was born and educated under Roman rule in AD 397 and built the first ever stone-built church here, founded over a century before Iona. This is the earliest Christian building in Scotland. In the Northumbrian period, the monastery was a noted cultural centre, and in AD 880-90, to the Lindisfarne Gospel was washed up on the shore nearby. Bede wrote of the shrine at Whithorn during this period, and made reference to the fact it had been in existence some three centuries before. This early Christian settlement had contact with Gaul, a sophisticated church hierarchy in Europe and beyond. It imported fine wines and pottery, and was a thriving literate community, and as such is possibly Scotland's oldest civilised township. In the Middle Ages, Whithorn was visited by many thousands of pilgrims. Bruce visited a few months before his death in 1329. King James IV was a frequent visitor, once on foot all the way from Edinburgh. Mary Queen of Scots made the last royal pilgrimage in 1567, as an Act of Parliament in 1581 made this observance illegal. The Whithorn story, run by the Whithorn Trust located on George Street, is the best way to find out more about this royal borough and its ancient past. The mixture of objects, interpretation panels, models and figures all combine to bring the story of Whithorn through the ages to life, follow in the footsteps of kings and pilgrims and marvel at the collection of artefacts that have unveiled themselves here over many years of detailed excavations. An outside picnic area and a first-class tea room, offering home baking and light homemade meals, as well as a very interesting shop, are all located on site. The Whithorn excavation team reconstructed a Viking Age house. Built of brushwood and poles, it was sadly lost to fire. The resulting insurance claim set a record as the first ever for a Viking Age building. The wider area hereabouts is known as the Mackers, a lush green triangle lying between Wigtown Bay and Loose Bay, whose famous sons include the novelist Gavin Maxwell and Alistair Reed, an important 19th century economist and father of conservation. 